Hi there, welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Podcast. This episode is going to be about methylene blue. You may not even know what methylene blue is or why it might be used in helping with Parkinson's disease or how it might help, but all of those questions can be answered in this episode. I hope you'll stay tuned for that. We're going to go into the introduction at this point, but I will see you on the other side. Hit it. Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. All right, first things first, what is methylene blue? Well, first of all, it is a supplement that can be taken by persons living with Parkinson's disease for various benefits. But first, I want to go into what it is, as I said earlier, and then we can go into a little bit of how it might help you as a person with Parkinson's disease. First of all, methylene blue is a synthetic dye and it was originally used to dye fabric. It's also been used historically as a, uh, a dye for stains for slides used in microbiology labs, cytology, uh, histocytology, those kind of sciences. Pathology, think of a medical pathologist, um, physician, they're gonna be looking at slides. And historically, methylene blue has been one of those chemicals used to make that dark blue color with the stain. Now, it should be mentioned that when persons with Parkinson's are taking methylene blue, it's only a pharmaceutical grade type of methylene blue. And of course, the dosage is going to be different than it would be if you were just to have, you know, a vial of methylene blue out on your counter. That type would be more like what we were talking about with uh, looking at cells under a microscope, but also industrial or aquarium grade versions. Those are not safe for human consumption. The methylene blue we're talking about is typically in a capsule or tablet form, and it's a low dose form of methylene blue. Common doses is between 0.5 to 4 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. In studies that have looked at the benefits of methylene blue for neuroprotection, which we'll talk about momentarily, doses are usually kept below 10 milligrams per kilogram to avoid adverse side effects. It can be found in IV form, but that's a little bit more unusual. It can also be found in sublingual form or under the tongue. Theoretically, the benefit of sublingual would be that it's directly absorbed into the bloodstream versus having to go through the intestine and then the liver, so you avoid the first pass effect, which reduces the dosage that's what's called bioavailable or whatever the body can actually use. So let's go back to why you might consider using methylene blue in Parkinson's disease. Obviously, methylene blue would be a supplement to your existing medication or something you might take to manage symptoms if you're not taking medication. But there are other benefits of methylene blue that could be found that actually preclude medication effects. So in other words, symptom management is important, but also long-term protection of your nervous system is another big potential benefit of methylene blue. So the most common benefits are mitochondrial support, antioxidant properties, inhibition of protein aggregation, particularly alpha-synuclein, neuroprotection, and cognitive benefits. So let's go into each one of those benefits and break it down just a little bit. Now, if you're looking at mitochondrial function or supporting mitochondria, we have to consider why that, that might be help, helped by methylene blue. Now, we know mitochondria are sick and have problems in Parkinson's disease, particularly the neurons involved directly in Parkinson's disease that are the dopamine-producing neurons. If we can help support the existing mitochondria and even help the mitochondria to heal, that's going to help things overall, or one, one factor that could help a lot of different things. And so one of the specific benefits in terms of mitochondria that methylene blue can help with is improving the efficiency of what's called the electron transport chain, or the ETC. That is directly involved in production of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. In fact, the uh, electron transport chain contributes, I believe it's 32 ATP for the entire process of glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. Anyway, the point is, is it can help with ATP production and the efficiency of releasing ATP, which, which we need ATP for literally every process that we do in the body because it's the energy source. So let's talk about antioxidant properties. 
Antioxidant properties can be helpful in, in terms of when you have mitochondrial damage, you have increased re reactive oxygen species released into the cell, which can be toxic to the cell and cause damage and or death to the cells. So if we can reduce oxidative stress, it will help contribute to the improved health of those cells and hopefully prevent dopaminergic neuron damage. Another one that's really important is inhib inhibiting alpha-synuclein aggregation. Now, alpha-synuclein, as we've talked about in previous episodes, particularly the one with dopamine toxicity, which I'll link here, alpha-synuclein interferes directly with the release of dopamine from those dopamine-producing cells. It, it prevents the, the dopamine from being packaged up into vesicles and released out of the neuron. That can actually lead to cell death as well, but point being in this case that if we can prevent the misfolding of alpha-synuclein into the large clumps that kind of accumulate, then we could protect that cell from dying from too much dopamine being retained in the cell um, and uh, also prevent alpha-synuclein from collecting throughout the body in other places because as you may or may not know, it tends to be found in every nerve tissue in the body eventually with Parkinson's disease. And with neuroprotection, again, reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation can help protect the neurons from degenerating even further. In terms of cognitive benefits, it can help with memory and cognitive function, and that's something that tends to be a problem for most persons with Parkinson's to the number of around 90% eventually. Clinical research is in early stages regarding methylene blue, but I can tell you from interactions on this channel with not only members, but also uh, just commenting on the channel, people anecdotally say that this really is helpful for them. I'll conclude with talking about a few really important considerations uh, and or precautions that you should consider before taking methylene blue for Parkinson's disease. I mentioned this earlier, but the purity is really important. You want USP or pharmaceutical grade methylene blue, not industrial type methylene blue. It can impact negatively with SSRIs and SNRIs, which are common antidepressant medications because methylene blue happens to be an MAOI or a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. So you don't want to take those together. It can be a dangerous interaction. So if you're already on any form of antidepressant, be sure to consult with a physician before starting methylene blue. Something else that's a little humorous, but also important to, to remember, even though it's not harmful, is that it can cause your urine to turn blue or green, which could be really alarming if you didn't know it was coming. Um, it, it actually can also turn your stool a different color and your saliva uh, can be blue or green. So it's normal, but again, it's uh, it could be shocking. And finally, the last thing to consider and to realizes that it can actually cause you to be more light sensitive if you're using it. So that's about it. Um, in terms of methylene blue, we've talked about how uh, it can play a role in energy production, neuroprotection, and even neurotransmitter balance through those benefits we mentioned earlier. Let me know about your experience with methylene blue, if you would recommend other persons with Parkinson's try it based on your experience. And also, if you have any questions, let me know or consider joining our Ask Me Anything level membership you can ask questions at any time, have them answered as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and as always, be empowered.